What's up, YouTube? This is Dave's Had Enough 187. This is another video to do with. Even fucking Christmas. The hate never ends. <laughs> For the Xbox One. The best box. And another video from Dave. And yeah, um, pretty much, I guess this is a video response. Um, you know. If y'all don't know, the fucking turkey thief made a video. <laughs> uh, you don't even give up on fucking Christmas. And that's along with a lot of other, you know, Xbox fucking haters. You know, people just bash the Xbox day in, day out. You think they would be spending time with their families or stealing turkeys, doing what they do best. <laughs> stealing hams, Christmas trees, presents, whatever. Whatever they do. <laughs> um, but no. Instead, they're up uploading videos that are straight fucking bullshit. Not even facts. Just fucking fiction. And we're going to play a little bit of Brandon Cole's video. And we're going to go through some of the things he said and, and see if it even fucking... Where, where is he getting this information? Is it really just shit he's making up? Or is he going to those fucking sites in Egypt finding out shit? I don't know. <laughs> Listen to this shit. I was kind of... I wasn't shocked when I heard it. And I was like, damn, the one thing that did shock me, I was like, this is fucking Christmas. These motherfuckers still have hate for the Xbox One on fucking Christmas. They don't, they don't even take a day off. Oh, here we go. Let's play the footage. There's a lot of rumors going on right now about the Xbox Two. And... While that's a stupid name, I personally think that this console isn't going to happen. I don't think that Microsoft is interested, and I believe truthfully that Bill Gates especially is not interested in keeping the Xbox brand around at the rate they're going. I mean, they're failing. They're failing like the Wii U did. And Microsoft is a company that wants to make money. So unless this console is bought, They're failing like the Wii U did. Okay. <laughs> Let's go look at, uh, uh, really the only thing we have that's not totally accurate, but the closest we can get accurate. BG charts. Right now on BG charts, the Xbox One, and I'm sure it's past this by now, is at 18.1 million. Okay? He said, failing like the Wii U did. Well, the Wii U is currently at 11.7 million. <laughs> so... Judging by them numbers, I would say the Xbox One is not failing like the Wii U did. And you know, the one thing that people have to realize this generation, you got the Xbox One up against the PS4, probably the top selling console of all time. So, in the, uh, you know, the PS2 and the original Xbox generation, were we all sitting there going, well, hey, you know, uh, the, uh, original Xbox is a complete failure, because, you know, it's not, it's not catching up to the top-selling console of all fucking time, you know, it's kind of hard to put a console up against the PS4, any console would fail against the PS4, it is a top-selling console, the only console I could compare to that, or even try to be close to that, would be the PS2, so it's not really a fair comparison, you can't sit here and say the Xbox One, yeah, the Xbox One isn't doing this good this generation compared to the PS4, but is it doing good this generation compared to last generation? Because what I heard, Microsoft said that, you know, the Xbox One is selling better than the Xbox 360 did, and we all know the 360 did good. It didn't win last generation, but it didn't lose by a fucking long shot. Not like the Wii U this generation, you know. Um, but, you gotta get these facts straight. Are you just making this shit up, or, you know, is it just you know, stuff you just like to go on about. I mean, please explain, Brandon. That's why I asked you in your comment section. Let's listen more. Let's let's listen to some more of this bullshit. It's deep better than any console they've ever made, and is it fucking invading people's privacy? Then we'll have a console, maybe. But the thing is, unless they're super, super confident in it, I don't think it's gonna happen. And while they just got their ass kicked by Sony this generation, and yes, it's not the end of the generation, but. Guys, honestly, come on. The Xbox One is doing about as good as the Wii U right now, and the Wii U is considered a failure. Again, <laughs> the Xbox One, he says, is doing as good. Is it failing? Is it doing worse than the Wii U, or is it doing as good? What, what is it, Brandon? Like I just said, 
The Wii U is at 11.7 million here, and the Xbox One is at 18.1 million. So, I mean, let's let let's get real here. You know, it isn't losing to the Vita like the Wii U. <laughs> so, what what is it, Brandon? Please explain. Let, let's listen to more some more of this bullshit. And it's because the Xbox One gives us sequels of games that are no longer as good as the original games. I mean, a sequel is supposed to be improvements, people, not... It gives us sequels, but then you got the PS4 giving us remasters after remaster after remaster. That's okay. What would you guys want? A sequel or a remaster? Please explain. Tell me in the comment section. Let's, let's continue this bullshit. <laughs> Getting the same old shit. And this is the same thing with the Gears of War game. This is the same thing with everything. And while Sony is guilty of this too, I am not discluding them. But Sony has a better user base. I mean, you could sit here and say I'm a fanboy of a system I hardly ever play, since, you know, I primarily play on PC. But it is what it is, people. Sony's getting Kojima's games. Sony's getting games from Japan. Sony is not a Western stereotype like the Xbox One. And the first thing the Xbox fanboys do is they'll say, Sony fanboy, because they're so ignorant that they don't know that everybody in the community is saying the Xbox One is a Western stereotype trash box and not just the Sony fan. So, guys, I mean, realistically, if this console happens, it would be very surprising to me. I'm not saying it's not, but I'm gonna say uh, I would be surprised if the Xbox division actually releases another console. Now, enough of that bullshit. Um, he said he'd be very surprised if the X if Microsoft releases the Xbox 2, which we all know is coming. Why is that surprising? You know, I mean, I, I don't understand it. And you know, it's funny. Like a lot of people, even at even myself at times, you know, you, when you deal with the crumb side, you think that's the whole world. You, you know, all the shit that they talk day in day out, over and over again. Separate yourself from the crumb side, and you won't even hear about a console war. You won't even hear what any of this shit. You won't hear about Xbox sucks, PS4 is better. You don't hear none of that shit. You might run into somebody and you might spark up the conversation. You could possibly get that, but you're just not going to hear it like you're going to hear it here in the crumb side day in, day out, you know, constantly. It's just not going to happen. You know, it's getting to the point now where, you know, these motherfuckers don't even sleep on Christmas about this shit. They still continue. You know, you can't sit here and tell me the Xbox One did not have the better lineup of games this year. That's a fucking lie if you say no. You know, I'm sorry. And then, you know, we looked at sales. Like, when you look at what people are buying, you know, of these consoles. Like, you know, you, get, you say, oh, Xbox got better games. PS4's got better games. Blah, blah, blah. Let's look what people are buying the top ten games. Let's go to the PlayStation 4. Let's just check that out while we're here. Grand Theft Auto 5 coming in at number 1. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 coming in at number 2. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare at number 3. FIFA 15, number 4. FIFA 16, number 5. 6, Destiny. 7, Star Wars Battlefront. 8, Fallout 4. 9, Watch Dogs. And 10, The Last of Us. Now let's look at the Xbox One. Oh, what do you know? Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, <laughs> number one. Oh, what do you know? Black Ops 3, number two. Oh, what do you know? Grand Theft Auto 5, number three. And doesn't that look kind of similar from the Xbox, from the PS4's lineup? It doesn't look just a little bit backwards, like Grand Theft Auto is number one. I think Black Ops 3 was number two. And then uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, if I, my memory serves me correct, was number three. If my memory serves me correct, let's just let's just check on that. Let's just see if that was correct. I think that was exactly what it was. Let's see if that's... Oh, there's a Wii. Hold on, guys. Bear with me a second. Damn! Just what I said. So it's basically just reverse, you know? But I will give Microsoft this. If you look at Microsoft... At least they're buying their exclusives. Halo 5, Titanfall, you know, their Master Chief Collection. I think the only one on the PlayStation's list was The Last of Us, if my memory serves me correct. You know, that came in at number 10, was The Last of Us. But they're not even buying their exclusives. 
<laughs> you know, all these great games we hear about, and they're not even buying them, you know. So, Brandon, point of the point of the subject and story and everything I'm trying to get at, hey, give it a rest, man. You can say all the bullshit you want. The Xbox, it may not be called the Xbox 2, it could be called the Xbox 2, but the successor of the Xbox One is coming. Whether you like it or not, period. You know, I just find it pretty fucking sad on Christmas. You know, you're still, you know, ranting and raving, your same old bullshit. I know the channel's fucking dead. I know, I know. I know it's hard to see, you know, a channel with 1,394 subs and you can't even pull a quarter of the fucking views. <laughs> you know, and you gotta, you know, sit here and rant and rave about fucking bullshit all day. Shit that you're just making up. I mean, look at these views, guys. You got 81 views, 67, 56, 162, 39 views. I mean, come on. Oh, there finally one. 398, 348, back down to 56. I mean, come on. 485, 233. But, you know, you don't stay consistent. You drop down in the dumps again. 192, back down to 33 views. Man, I'm sorry. I know your channel's dead, but at least come with some facts, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that's my video. Shout out to Brandon. You know, I, I hate to bash him on fucking Christmas, but, you know, he came at me first. And, you know, I thought we were going to continue this war, but I guess I won it. <laughs> I, I don't see any more videos towards me about, you know, any of that bullshit that he was starting up or RXL. I guess me and RXL won that war. But, even though after the war, and, you know, there's nothing left to really fight. I just like to fucking piss on what's left. <laughs> Anyways, that's my video, guys. Uh, tell me what you think in the comment section. Brandon's fucking video will be linked in the fucking description if you want to listen to this fucking bullshit again. More videos to come. Thank you, YouTube.